السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ my question is regarding insurance actually some say the insurance is allowed some say it's not allowed now i work in a company where uh, by default we get insured uh, myself my family the spouse etc and uh, part of the salary is taken in as a premium so we don't have an option now in case there is a medical requirement can i avail the benefits of insurance for myself and my family but that's the two parts of the question first part that medical insurance is allowed or not or is insurance haram or halal and secondly since this company has forced him into a policy of insurance from his salary so can he avail of the benefits as far as the first question is concerned regarding is insurance allowed or not per se insurance is not haram it is mubah it's option it's halal insurance per se but because most of the insurance they involve interest or riba that's where it becomes haram so business per se is halal allowed but if the business deals with alcohol it becomes haram if the business deals with riba it becomes haram so similar insurance per se is not haram but because most of the insurance is based on riba it's connected with interest therefore it's haram there are many islamic insurance companies which i know in oman in dubai many there are many which i'm aware of so if it's based on the islamic sharia guidelines insurance per se is allowed but in india also most of them which i know of they deal with riba therefore it becomes haram now as far as in your case you're working in a company and they say that you have to take out a medical insurance and they cut from your salary and then can you avail the benefits see there are many things which are rules of a company which you have an option to avail or not and some places you don't have option as far as medical insurance is concerned if the company cuts i feel if you go and approach the management and say i don't mind insurance but because it is haram in our community please don't cut my salary first thing you have to check up with the medical insurance that a company has involved in is it haram or halal most of them are haram so you can request them that see to that you choose a company which is halal see one thing in the life insurance in life insurance what happens is that whatever premium you pay there are some clauses to it it may be 10 years life insurance so you keep on paying a fixed amount of premium every month and if the policy matures after 10 years if you don't die you get the same amount back but if you die in between you may get double if an extra you may get more so depends upon the policy so this surely what money you give it comes back to it is surely interest based most of the others also interest based in a medical insurance you pay amount whether you get sick or not if you don't get sick you don't get the amount back so depending on what the policy is and what is the basis of it to give you money back because if they're giving you money for treatment they have to acquire from somewhere else if there's islamic pooling where you say that everyone gives a 1000 rupees and if there are hundreds of thousands of people and if one person gets sick you give that money so that becomes halal but most of the insurance company don't work like that they take your money and they invest and they keep it in a bank and they get interest out of it so it's the money that's taken from you the premium taken from you if it is invested in a business which is not haram then the policy is halal but most of the insurance company they keep it in a bank for safety and they take interest which becomes haram so which medical company has your company taken the insurance off you have to check up most are haram i know that i can't say 100% and if it's a haram if falling the haram category surely you can go and speak to the management and say that see i know that it is for my benefit that if i give a medical insurance claim my money is being cut maybe a few hundred rupees but any problem so you can give in writing that please don't cut my medical insurance claim and if any medical expenses i will bear from my own salary so if you give in writing and doubt whether any company will object now that's the difference is people don't go and speak to the management that way So there's no rule of the government that the company should take medical claim from you. It is the policy of the company, and if you're able to convince to the company that this is my religion, it is haram. No Muslim may have come and told them that. So you explain to them. Majority, I think, inshallah, most of them will agree with the demand. And there are many such cases which I have guided people in other aspects, like offering salah. You go and request, why won't they accept it? But speak in a good way. That if you are taking a few minutes for salah, say I will work extra for that. See to it that the work is not disturbed. See to it that you get better output. So if the performance is good, the company will not mind acceding to your request. But generally, taking a insurance policy of anything which involves the riba is not allowed in Islam. Hope that answers the question.